point, folks, of the show. This is Low Country Money Talk. Phil Boyd is here. Still. Still. <laughs> I think I've said that every segment. Phil Boyd's here. You're yeah, still here. I'm, I'm still so here. <laughs> I will leave in a few minutes. Okay. Yeah, well, but we not half, yet. We had half a show left. That's right. This might be my favorite part because there's viewer questions that we're going to mm -hmm. read and Phil's going to answer on the spot. So I think this is really fun because sure. these are great questions, I like actually. It. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Absolutely. I feel like this is Why a game not? show. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 31 years I've heard these questions. You know, you know yes. what to do. Yeah. All right. Here's one from a viewer that says, I'm less than a year away from retiring. Mm -hmm. I have retirement accounts and I've been working with an advisor for years. I guess I have never considered how taxes will affect oh. me once I start taking my withdrawals. Ooh. How will I be taxed? And this is actually something we've talked about on the show, uh, the impact that taxes sure. have. So, But this is a changing situation. You will be taxed heavily. Yeah. And frequently. And fre great. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. <laughs> so basically, we've, uh, you know, people get these deferred accounts uh, in their mind uh, miscalculated so in, in my experience so we were told years ago look hey you know you're getting a tax savings you put this away but really the terminology is you're deferring your tax right you saved it now now you got to pay for it later right. later is here not only do you have to pay taxes on what you put aside you have to pay taxes on 40 years of market gain great News. so you're Sorry, dollar for dollar. So yeah. when we take a dollar out of this account, that dollar has never been taxed. So we're, we're hoping that the government is going to be friendly to us. Uh-huh. And uh, that's... You know, I'm from the I'm government. I'm here that. to help you. Just give me your wallet, right? Yeah. So How many eggs are we going to put we, in that We basket? put all this money away not really knowing what... Because the tax code changes. Right, right. So... You know, most people would think, Jessa, that income taxes are going to go up and be higher in the future, probably because we're sitting on $31.5 trillion in debt, That's okay? Mm. The interest on the debt, I look, you might check this out, usdebtclock.org. Oh, gosh. And it'll show you how much debt, how much revenue, and interest on the debt. I checked the other day the interest on the debt from fis fiscal year October last year is over $500 billion as of today. Oh my God. That's and the interest, interest rates are going up, right? right yeah. So that's going to go that's up. That's not going to get so better. Uh -huh. The debt clock will continue to run. So just remember, I have this huge amount of money that I haven't paid taxes on yet. And it will be taxed dollar for dollar. So, you know, we talk about Roth conversions, why the market's down, mm -hmm. so we can settle up some of the taxes. Uh, we have a decent tax code now that expires at the end of tax year 2025. Yes. And then we don't know what the tax rate's going to be. So, you know, a known thing helps us. Go ahead. Let's get to okay, another Okay, I was going to say, do we have time for another yeah, let's one? Get another. I like this one. Uh, some of our viewers might resonate with this. I'm 63 years old. Mm -hmm. All my life I've been investing consistently, including in my 403B at work, which I had to learn what that yes. was on the break. Right. My current advisor says I'm doing great and not to worry about retirement, but I feel like it's time for a more solid plan. What should I do? Sure. So the one thing we talk about, if I'm five years from retirement, okay, maybe I start pulling that risk factor down some, okay? Two years, one years, maybe I pull that risk factor way down mm -hmm. because uh, what I've accumulated you know, over time, if we have a big sell-off, I think we spoke about this before, and I'm up here, I've got yeah. all this money and the dollar cost averaging and the matching and all that stops, this is really at risk. So I need, yeah. really need to be careful. So I might seek out an advisor that understands and works with retirees. Right. And maybe he's not, you know, a lot of people get wrapped up into financial planning and all this stuff. They forget about the distribution. Yeah. How am I going to get this money out? You need a, a retirement financial yeah. planner. You really Somebody do. that's used to working with, with retirees. Yes. And I don't know if this is common knowledge. A 403B is similar to a 401K. I did yeah. not know that. Usually nonprofits, but. you know, they would have a 403B instead of a 401K. Okay. Usually. Yeah, that makes so, sense. Okay. You know, not all professional help is the same. Yes. And I'm an independent, local, and fiduciary advisor. So what that means, I'm required by law to manage my client's money 
properly for the benefit of them, not me. Right. So that's a very important thing, I think, as we wrap this up. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, don't you want somebody that's local and that is going to put your best interests first, not the interests of another company? That's important to me. I, mm -hmm. I think that's really great. And it's a great time to uh, have people, have them take a look at your financial picture. Uh, it's called a revolutionary wealth review. And you can do that with no obligation. There's no cost to doing the review. So great time to call, take advantage of the offer that Phil and his team is uh, allowing for our viewers. Call Rachel and and uh, do that. You do want to have investable assets of $500,000 or more to be able to take advantage of that. That's a great client for Revolutionary Financial Group. And you are great viewers for us because mm -hmm. we got one more for you after the break. Stick around. Mm -hmm.